they don't have to use this year. Shifting gears just a bit, honey, something many of us enjoy on a day-to-day -day basis, mm. whether we put it in our tea, cook with it, or just eat it straight. Right now, one apiary in Montana collecting their product. Montana Ag Network's Kaylee Collins takes us to the High Line for this sweet story. Right now, Bear Paw Apiaries and Chinook are collecting the honey through a process called extracting. The machinery uncaps them, runs them through, spins them so that the centrifugal force takes the honey out of the comb. But it took a lot of work to get to this point. These busy bees work year round. When we're done with our honey production here, we'll get them ready to go back to California. We probably won't start until right after Thanksgiving. Before they were brought back to Montana in the spring, these bees were helping farmers in California. The need for pollinating the almonds down there, which they see a 60% increase in their almond production. Um, so a lot of the farmers, well, they all want all bees on their almonds so that they can get the biggest crop they can. These bees also helped other crops by pollination, but the number of bee colonies are decreasing. Going through the winter months, you'll see more of a, a bee loss. Something that's happening during the whole summer, there's parasites on them like varroa mites and tracheal mites. Trying to treat an insect on an insect is a little bit of a tricky deal. But Bear Paul apiaries have found a way around it. The problem is, is that we can't carry those same bees all the way through the year. And we're, as, as basically a farmer that we are, We've learned to increase our numbers to give us what we need to do on our, on our business basis. In Chinook, Kaylee Collins, MTN News. Now Anderson says the snowy winter actually helped the bees by creating more plant growth. However, it did make it a little harder for the team to do the work mm. as snow makes it harder for us honey, as well. Honey, honey, honey.